This is worksheet 14.1 and I'm going to look at number 5 and 7. We have a list of choices here of different methods of solving equations and let's look at each one and decide what's most appropriate. So on number 5, key thing to notice here is you have this quantity squared. So eventually we're going to need to square root to get rid of that squared. So before we can use the square root method, um, let's isolate the quantity that's being squared. So I'm going to first subtract 9 from both sides. That gives me negative 2, oops, negative parentheses 2x plus 1 squared, and then this becomes a negative 25. Dividing both sides by negative 1, we get 2x plus 1 squared equals 25. Then to undo the squared, we can square root this side and square root this side. So that gives us 2x plus 1. This quantity could be equal to 5 or negative 5. So we are, we're going to end up having two answers here. Um, 2x plus 1 equals 5 will give us one solution. 2x plus 1 equals negative 5 will give us another solution. So over here, one of our solutions is x equals 2. And then over here, we get another solution of x equals negative 3. And we used the square root method. Let's go to number 7 now. Here you have a square root in the problem. To undo that, we're going to have to square both sides. So I'm going to say squaring for my method. Here the square root is already isolated. So I'm going to start by squaring it. That just gets rid of the square root, so we're left with whatever's inside the radical. And on this side I have to square it, so that gives me x squared. So if we combine like terms, this is 2x squared, and if I subtract 1x squared, that gives me 1x squared. Move the 16 over x equals 4 or negative 4. We should always check for extraneous solutions. So when we go back to the original problem, if I plug positive 4 in, that would be 2 times 16, which is 32 minus 16 is 16. Square root of 16 is 4, which is equal to x. If I plug in negative 4, I get the same answer on the left side. Negative 4 squared is 16 times 2 is 32 minus 16 is 16. Square root of 16 is 4 but we plugged in an x value of negative 4 so our answer of negative 4 is not valid so it's only x equals positive 4. 